Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, Mr. Ed has nothing on Lucas. Lucas is a horse with some special abilities, of course, of course. And if you would like to know more about him, well, I'd like to introduce you to Karen Murdoch because she knows a lot about Lucas. Welcome. Thank you, Leslie. I'm glad to be here. Now, now tell us who Lucas is and how Lucas came to be. Well, Lucas is 17 now, and I've had him nine years. I bought him from a sale ad described as an inexperienced project horse lingo for buyer beware. <laughs> um, how long have you had him? 17 mm -hmm. years. And uh, how is it that you um, decided that Lucas was the horse for you? Well, he just appealed to me, his personality, and I thought that we'd have a lot of fun together. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you took him from a new adoptee mm -hmm. to a very highly skilled mm -hmm. horse. What is your background and how did you, you know, take him along that journey? Mm -hmm. I've been a psychiatric nurse for the last 25 years and I've also spent much of my life studying and figuring out ways of training animals for their kind treatment. I've developed a liberty system where the horse is loose and free without any equipment to show that animals can be trained without force. Why do you think animals are better trained without force? That's a good question. Um, we're hoping to show that that's the case. Um, as far as being trained without force, I think they respond better to kindness and gentle methods. Um, you're a psychiatric nurse. What do we and horses have in common? Oh, quite a bit. In fact, I've often teased my husband that Lucas is much easier to train than he is. So <laughs> I think everyone responds to caring and trust and respect and appreciation. Mm -hmm. Everyone, and do the principles you use in mm -hmm. training Lucas apply to dogs and cats and mm -hmm. monkeys? Most definitely. I've trained all of my dogs using these techniques and mm -hmm. my spaniel Wendell, who I've trained, is a certified therapy dog with advanced degrees in psychiatry and the elderly and even a hospice volunteer. So. Yeah, transferable. Well, and, and Lucas is uh, gaining some very well-deserved pedigrees. He's getting a little nod from <laughs> the Guinness Book of Records. Tell us about that. Oh, that was so exciting, Leslie. Oh, my gosh. Um, his record is the most numbers correctly identified by a horse in one minute, and we got 19. Uh, how, do you, <laughs> how do you get him to do this? Well, over time, you know, it came about. Gradually, I just kept expanding the lessons. How did you recognize that he was of superior intelligence? Mm -hmm. we, li we all like to think our mm -hmm. animals are smart, but Lucas mm -hmm. certainly demonstrates it. Well, thank you. I think he responded to my caring and love, and just that created his eagerness that you see in the videos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things that Lucas can do? Wow, Lucas can kiss, smile, yawn, pose. He can catch and fetch. He plays on his pedestal, does lots of fancy footwork. He stays and comes, rears. I've also taught him to identify letters, numbers and shapes, discriminate colors, and he understands the concepts of object permanence, spatial relationships, same different, proportion, and the latest is absentness. Wow, so uh, <laughs> separation anxiety. Well, absentness? Is that what you mean? Sort of. He knows when things are missing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. He recognizes things like that. Yeah. You've taught him a lot. What can he teach us? Well, um, you know, that's a great question, Leslie. I've seen time and time again that animals can teach us much more than we can teach them. I really believe that Lucas shows us an example of living a life filled with joy and humor, forgiveness and resilience. Really, he gives us a way to look at underdogs in a brighter light and show that second chances work for a lot of folks and animals. What's in the future for Lucas? Well, we have a lot of exciting plans for 2011. We mm -hmm. donate our time and services to benefit nonprofits. So we're looking at expanding our exposure through interviews, appearances, and articles. And of course, continuing to spread his message of hope and happiness and meeting lots of new people who also believe that the world can be a better place for everybody. Well, thank you for introducing us. Oh, thank Lucas. you for having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much, right. Leslie. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. More HLN next. Mm -hmm.